I'm Alex Jones, your host. The globalists are pulling out every stop they can to plunge the world into war. Alex Jones is probably America's best known and most influential conspiracy theorist. Jones's radio program and online television network reaches millions with frothing rants claiming the Sandy Hook massacre was a hoax and that 9-11 was an inside job. You know what it's like to go up to this and go out every day and go past the peer pressure and come out day one and say 9-11 was an inside job and lose most of the radio stations I was on? You know what it's like to go to sleep every night knowing you were With the election of Donald Trump, whose candidacy he vigorously championed, Jones's fringe movement has shouted its way into the mainstream, and he's become one of the president-elect's most powerful media surrogates. You're in a death battle now. You're in a death battle, New World Order. We know you're in one with us. Comprende? Comprehend it? We don't care what you say. Throughout his 20-plus year career in broadcasting, Alex Jones has transformed from a local celebrity with a public access cable show to the undisputed king of alternative media. His YouTube channel has racked up well over a billion views. That's 10 times as many as NBC News' YouTube channel. It's unclear just how much money Jones makes as a conspiracy salesman, but his sprawling state-of-the-art studio in Austin suggests that business is good. That's because while Jones's views might live on the political fringe, he's no longer a fringe player. The whole takeover failed, didn't it? And now, who gets to talk to the president? Who gets to talk to the Supreme Court justices? Matt Drudge, Alex Jones. It might be an exaggeration, but not by much. Uh, Donald, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Alex. During the campaign, Trump appeared on Jones's show, pitching both his new book and his candidacy, while also heaping praise on the host. I just want to finish by saying your reputation's amazing. I will not let you down. You will be very, very uh, impressed, I hope. And I think we'll be speaking a lot, but you'll be- And after he won in November, Trump made an off-air call to Jones, thanking him for his support. As one of the president-elect's advisors said, Jones's listeners are the foot soldiers in the Trump revolution. What do you think the connection is between your rise in media and Donald Trump's rise in politics? I was just an early part of the wave of populism and wanting prosperity and wanting true liberalism. Why is it happening? Why is this your moment? That mainstream media just ignored and ignored and ignored, laughing at flyover country. The truth is we'd already taken the nation back psychologically many, many years ago. All we do is study the enemy. We know who they are, where they vacation, how they operate, what their plans are, what type of Satanism they carry out. We know their operation. What type of Satanism? They they're all, have. they're psychopaths, so their religion is basically satanic. I mean, what the hell have we become? It's Jones's frequent outbursts of vein-popping anger and willingness to indulge in hyperbole that made him famous. But he insists that it isn't an Andy Kaufman-like act. I'm a weapon. I'm made to be thrown at you. <laughs> There's not a lot of people that when I say I'm going to interview them, they say, I don't think he's serious. Is there an element of theater to it? I mean everything I say when I'm being serious. And more and more, I'm serious probably 95% of the time. You're a pretty intense guy. You understand that like, people are like, wait, what's going no, on? No, but here? I'm telling you why I turned yeah, it off. Yeah. Uh, even when I'm being satirical and trying to point something out, but I am letting the dog off the leash. I'm letting, you know, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, I'm letting Mr. Hyde out. Look at this. But clearing away all the hysterical oh, bluster, oh, what yeah, is it that victory. Jones believes? You don't trust government, you think they're incompetent. You're that but I love Trump. Trump. But, you, but you love Trump, and you also think that government can do all these things no, that I they're, see they're the globalist-run government yeah. upset by Trump because they know what he's trying to do, so I'm trying to give that a shot at reforming it. This is part of a global awakening to the new world order. I'm such an authoritarian. Oh, you just don't sign the release. <laughs> <laughs> In addition to peddling paranoia, Jones also peddles a huge range of products, from male vitality drops to a year's supply of survival food. Yeah, the store is blocked because of massive communist Chinese hack attacks. You can always call toll free. Can I ask you something here? Yeah. When Jones isn't railing against the New World Order, no, I mean, he's plotting the overthrow of his other favorite hate object, the mainstream media. On a conference room whiteboard, his staff had mapped out media organizations they believe are enemies of freedom. I noticed that you're the most free and independent is, oddly enough, you. Yes. Um, yeah. how, how, how did, do you, do you know how we got here? Uh, you know, I was just saying, 
used to Vice before it was owned by the big wigs would be kind of more over here, but now it's kind of the middle. So just, I there. just want to be um, clear that Vice is here on the tyranny and freedom index, but these two who are owned by the Kremlin are more free than, than the media organization that you're talking well, about. Well, no, 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 they're up at the top at state run. But, but they're also closer to the freedom. Yeah, I mean, I found their stuff to be more, more uh, based in reality. Are you fucking serious? But Jones's uncomfortable relationship with reality hasn't been an impediment to success. He's an undeniably effective salesman. Because when the cameras are on, Jones is on. Now the new left is like Keith Overman going, Russian scum, we're at war with Russia. We need to have war with Russia and start bombing them now. I'm liberal. I want thermonuclear frickin' war. A Alex. I'm hysterical. <laughs> you know, I'm over here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> all right, it's all right. Donald Trump you know, knew who I was, knew what I was doing, talked to him some him in there. The, the whole point is it's not about me. I'm just pointing out the movement that was already there that he basically surfed in on. But you're the loudest person talking about but this. You're the most successful you, person talking about Bigger waves are coming. We don't rise and fall with Trump. Now you're gonna see the next wave. Good luck with that.